Hey guys, it's your boy Climax, and today we are going to be talking about the starting point guard on the Washington Wizards, and that would be Russell Westbrook. We're going to be talking about why he is going to have absurd stats this year, and why I think he will, you know, be a very good player for this Wizards team, and he's, you know, going to help his career out by the way he plays this year. So guys, uh, I'm going to be talking about Russell Westbrook, but before I do, I would like to just say, um... If you do like the videos, if you like the NBA content or the videos in general of mine, please like and subscribe. really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So, getting back to the man, the myth, the legend, and the triple-double machine, Russell Westbrook. I believe Russell Westbrook is going to average absurd amount of rebounds and assists. Now, his points might go down. His points will probably be more around like 21 to 22, but his rebounds and assists, I think... His assists are going to be a career high. I think he could average up to like maybe 12 assists a night or something ridiculous like that. I mean, I think this team is is looking like a very good team for a Russell Westbrook. I mean, you have uh, Bryant, their center, who shoots like 40% from the three-point line. You have, of course, Bradley Beal, who is a stud. You have the rookie that they just drafted who can shoot. You have um, the rookie last year, was it? I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try, but he is a scorer. Um, you have um, like some guys off the bench that can shoot. Um, they have a really good they have a really good three-point shooter off the bench. Uh, he's a taller guy. So, I mean, uh, Bertans, there you go. Bertans, he is like a, a three-point ace. So this team actually is one of the few teams that have um, shooters at every position. And that is ready for a guy like a Russell Westbrook. Now, Russell Westbrook will do very good with with this amount of shooters and this Wizards team around him. I think he is going to play, and his numbers will will show uh, how he played at the end of the year for the Rockets. Now, at the end of the year for the Rockets, when they committed to that small ball, he had an absurdly good stats, percentages, you know, assist, rebounds, points. And like I said, his percentages were very good. I think, I think that is the way. That's going to be the Russell Westbrook that shows up. Now he might not be as good in the percentage area, but I think he is going to be pretty close to that end of the year Rockets uh, form because of all the shooters around him. I mean, having a normal center who can shoot that well is going to tremendously help uh, Russell Westbrook and this team just in general because they're not going to get you know they're not going to have to completely change and be weird on defense to actually guard anyone because he's an actual center and he can guard actual centers but they also are going to have uh, that benefit of you know having shooters everywhere so I think this team is actually very good for our boy Russell Westbrook now Russell Westbrook had an absurd amount of assists you know his the previous game I think he had like 15 assists or something so I think he could average like 12 assists a game, and that would be you know two more than what he normally averages. I think he could get a lot of rebounds, and he could really help this team win a lot of games. I think this team will win a lot of games actually, uh, because I think they are a solid team in the East. The East is not as good as the West, and they have you know there's some spots for uh, the Wizards to you know jump and be better than. Uh, with Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. They have pretty good stars on their team, I would say. Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook are very good, actually. And I would love to have them on my team. That is basically guaranteed a playoff spot. And you are pretty excited about that. Now, yeah, and I think Russell Westbrook's going to be mad that, you know, he got traded. I think he um, will like playing with Bradley Beal more than he liked playing with James Harden. I mean, not very many people like playing with James Harden, so you have to add that into this. I mean, you have to you have to think about uh, maybe maybe James Harden and Russell Westbrook didn't play together well, and maybe you know Russell Westbrook would play better with people who he actually likes playing with. I mean, you you always could think of that. Maybe hmm, that's a possibility, and if that is the possibility, then that's gonna be pretty scary for every Eastern Conference team. Because then, you know, the Wizards will be very good. Now, I missed both three-pointers with their rookie. But, you know, who that's not what he did in the first game. He cashed all two of the ones he attempted. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Now, this Wizards team will need 
a little time to you know come together and it uh, will take a little adjusting to, to actually play with Russell Westbrook but I think this Wizards team is looking far better than a lot of teams in the NBA they have some good talent they got some decent young talent um, their depth is a little worrisome I don't think they have the greatest bench or a quality bench in that matter uh, they have some decent players on the bench, uh, Troy Brown Jr., I believe, comes off the bench. He is he is pretty good. But it's really going to be about the starting lineup on the Washington Wizards. The starting lineup is going to be the the, the, the side of the you know, the players that carry them. I mean Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook are going to have to score over fifty points a night probably and combined over what, fifteen assists for them to really, really be a very good team. And I think that is that is definitely possible, and this team will be very good. I'm very excited. They're going to be prob I mean, probably the most exciting team to watch in the East, um, because of Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal on the same floor together. Now the Nets will be exciting, especially if, um, especially if Kyrie Irving is playing this well. Uh, throughout the year, because Russell uh, Kyrie Irving is just a very exciting player to watch, but Russell Westbrook will also be very exciting to watch. So it's going to be a good good year for the Wizards, I believe. I don't think they are necessary contenders, but they are a solid team. They are definitely a playoff team, and I honestly think the the Wizards' ceiling is the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, at me, like you know, blow up in the comments if you want but I think these Wizards team in the playoffs could beat the Celtics I mean the Celtics are a good team but they just seem to kind of fall apart and Jason Tatum isn't there yet and I could see this 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 Wizards team you know beating the Celtics you know not you know not like handily but you know actually you know beating the Celtics in the playoffs I could see that and um I could you know I could see them making the the um, Eastern Conference game, and I think that would be a, a very a big win for this this team if they did that. Um, but they have a long ways to go. I might be jumping the gun a little bit there with my how good I think Russell. You know the big difference I think Russell Westbrook will have on the team. But I'm optimistic about this team, and they have a lot going for them. So guys, if you did enjoy, what is your take on the Wizards and Russell Westbrook? Do you think Russell Westbrook's age is catching up to him? Or, you know, what do you think? Um, how do you think Russell Westbrook will play? I guess, yeah, I think he will be a very good. His stats will be absurd, and he's really going to help this team out. Uh, so guys, if you did agree, please leave it. Uh, leave a like. Uh, if you disagreed, uh, tell me why in the comment section. And check out the other videos on my channel. So guys, hope you did enjoy. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day, a good winter. I uh, hope you're not getting too cold. And yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Um, hope you guys have a good day. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.